How do you uh, sum up uh, your, your rookie your rookie season? Um, an experience, I say, uh, a, a good, a positive experience for me. Um, not only for my growth as a player, but just where I'm going, uh, where I feel like I can go, and uh, so yeah, I think it's just a positive, positive experience. What do your off-season plans look like? Um, I'll be here um, and working with uh, my trainer in Phoenix, Phil Beckner. He's a uh, Dame's guy, so I've, I've been working with him the past two years. Um, so I, I like what he does, and um, obviously I'll be I'll be here too, working out with with Brad's and getting stuff done here. So just uh, just being really efficient, and effective with my time and on the court and uh, my workouts during this off season. Do you plan on taking like, any time off, and if so, like what does that look like? Uh, I don't know how long I'll take off, but I'll take some time off just to you know get my get my feet under me, um, rest and. You know, just take a mental break and then obviously get back on and attack um, the workouts and all that. So. Where do you feel like your game developed the most in your game? Uh, I'd say really just forming into whatever role. What I was talking about last night, just forming into ever, whatever role um, that's needed. Um, but really, like I said, just the, the positive experience about it is, you know, trying different things, you know, going, playing point guard and experiencing that and taking stuff from that and, and you know, now going to this off season, what can I do to to be ready, be more ready for those positions um, or for those roles when the, when the time comes. I don't know if you came in necessarily with any expectations of what NBA life would be like, but mm -hmm. if you did, like, how's it been relative to that? Anything surprising, anything, like, really different? Nothing, nothing different. I mean, as far as just the everyday, everyday grind and, and kind of, it's the way you see it. Really, um, showing up every day, being fortunate to, to be here and, and blessed to be here, I think it's the biggest thing. Um, if you could put that into perspective first, then that's the best thing is to just be, um, you know, blessed that I'm here and getting this opportunity to, to play every single day. So uh, when you think of it like that, it's it's nice to show up and, and see smiles and um, positive attitudes everywhere. And obviously, this is the place that has it. So. People talk about the rookie wall. Do you go to feel that? Uh, yeah, I did. I would say, you know, this, I think it was after the overtime game. I, I, I you know, I collapsed on my bed after the game, and I was like, dang, like, that's when I actually feel it. But, um, yeah, for sure. I mean, I didn't even play how many games before I started to play real minutes. So it's like, I know there's a whole other part um, to this season and uh, an early grind in a sense. So I guess I really haven't hit the rookie wall since I haven't played a full, full season. But, um, Knowing how that looks when you do hit it, and you know, kind of taking care of your body even more, preparing um, so you don't hit that wall. We was going to talk about that too, where you know, early in the season when you did get those minutes, it's like hustle plays, cuts, mm -hmm. quick crashing the glass, whatever. Mm -hmm. And then now you were like a featured guy in the offense, yeah. time, right? Like running point guard. Mm -hmm. How do you kind of combine both of those and still bring kind of the hustle along mm -hmm. with the game, even when you're kind of more? Featured? Yeah, yeah. Just I think just always predicating. Why I'm or predicating, uh, I don't know how I say it. Really, just you know, being out there, knowing why I'm out there, and knowing what's keeping me on the floor at the end of the day. Um, really, is my hustle, my defense, my my work ethic. Just just being out there and um, you know, changing the games when it's not scoring or, or when I'm not scoring or anything like that. So, really, just impacting the game in in that way. How do you you know describe the roller coaster of this season from a team perspective? Full complement of veterans. You guys are winning, mm -hmm. and the veterans go on the trade deadline, and then you know the, the final weeks of the season. You know, just all the upheaval mm -hmm. of the roster. But through it all, you guys, you know, weren't eliminated until last night. I mean, mm -hmm. So how do you describe all of that? I mean, it just shows something about um, you know the, the organization, the, the people that that surround us, and um, obviously believe in us, uh, no matter who's out there. Um, I think that's the biggest thing. And when we have that belief and that confidence, then you know, it, it takes the pressure off of, you know, all the other stuff that's going on, but really just for us to lock in and focus on, on basketball and playing and competing. What are you going to remember most about this season? Just all the, the relationships I've built. Obviously, all those guys that, that aren't here now and um, new guys that have came in and I've met. Um, all those relationships, you know, they're going to last a, li a lifetime. And, um, you know, I can always reach out to, to guys whenever I need them or need anything or stuff like that. So it's 
it's kind of that uh, that brother, the brother brotherhood a little bit. Um, just being here, so yeah. Who's the first person you reached out to? Who's the um, Mike. I mean, I still text Mike from time to time, just kind of checking in, seeing how he's doing. Uh, I texted Bando the other day, uh, and I still keep up with Malik and Nikhil sometimes too. So. Did you have a uh, remember like, what was your? I guess two questions. What was your welcome to the NBA moment, and then also what moment did you realize I can play in this league? Uh, my welcome to the NBA moment, I always say it's me being traded, uh, just kind of um, how the NBA is and, you know, stuff that you can't control in, in that sense. But um, really when I hit that moment when um, I was like, you know, I can play at this level and, and, and um, be me at this level is, I think it was, I don't really know exactly when, I think it was just when I had, well, I had my first career high in Houston and then I followed that after you know, playing in Chicago and had another career high. So it was like, that's when I saw, you know, um, that I could do this. So, you know, yeah. What do you think your ceiling is? I don't think I have a ceiling. Um, as, as, as hard as I work, I feel like there's always stuff that I'm trying to achieve, trying to go for. Um, and I feel like the only person stopping that is me. I mean, just, just what he had built up here um, in Utah before. I mean, obviously, I'd just been in my first year and, and saw it, um, a little bit of it. But just the person he was, and he's, a, he's a, as, as good of a basketball player is, and he's a better person. So um, just seeing how he treated everybody and really, really genuinely treated everybody showed a lot about, about him. Did you get to watch any the Cavs in the playoffs? I mean, you were there mm -hmm. for a couple months and know some of those. Yeah, I mean, I'll be watching everybody. Um, you know, teams that it's it's different now uh, watching those teams that you competed against in the playoffs. Because like last year, I was watching the playoffs and just like, you know, where do I? You know, I'm gonna be in the NBA next year, all that stuff. So um, this year, it's different because you played against those teams and you know you competed against the, those guys. So it's it's gonna be fun to watch. Um, curious to see who makes it out of the West and who makes it out of the East because it's really a lot of a lot of question marks. I feel like. Think about it differently, like watching the West, kind of sizing up what you guys have now, and thinking about next year. In a way, yeah. Um, I think, you no, know, the the teams that we've competed with and played in night night in night out. I mean, um, obviously in the West Coast, it's, it's been close, but uh, I feel like we're you know just in that mix as well. Um, we were close to being just in that mix, so have that confidence that we could be in that position too.